Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Exciting day today. We're um, yeah, we're going down to uh, to Brown Hills to pick up our new motorhome. Hey. New motorhome day. Yeah. So obviously decided to change it in the end. I've said this five years. Um, it's been good, hasn't it? It's been yeah, it's been, yeah, good, yeah. It's been a really, really good van. Um, but yeah, time for a bit of an upgrade, and um, we'll take you with us. Take you with us. Ciao for now. Excited. <laughs> plenty of um, plenty of good cupboard yeah. space. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Don't open the cupboard. <laughs> don't open. No, you, you can't do that. Now she tells me don't open no, the no, cupboards. Not this one. Not don't open. Can open any other cupboard, but I can't <laughs> open that cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there we have it. There's the old Eldis. And here's the new Swift. Yeah, just um, just done the induction and going through everything, and Sans in there now sorting all the bits and pieces out. Hello. <laughs> what do you reckon? Love it. <laughs> Absolute love it. There we go. Got the bed made up. Yeah, it's proper nice. Yeah, we're we're proper happy, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So the uh, the eldest has been good to us. Yeah. But it's, that's, um, that's next to us. Yeah. Ooh, that's we... next door. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, really happy. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> well, we had our first night's um, sleep in the new Swift. Yeah, it's it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to because the layouts the layouts different. Although it's bigger, it does seem smaller. Uh, it does seem smaller in the like in, in the living area. Uh, maybe because it's dark. It's yeah, dark yeah. Clean. And obviously we, we were tired. Got a bit of an issue with the um, with the bed creaking. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go and speak to them today because um, every time you moved it was. And it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> um, and and the garage light seems to stay on all the time. You have to take turn the the whole power off. Um, for the garage light to uh, to go off, which seems a bit bizarre because it kind of lights up the underside of the bed, like I don't know, it's like really strange, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, we'll go, we'll go and see. We'll let you know how we get on. Obviously, we've got a, a nice breakfast voucher to have, so um... <laughs> hogging the camera all the time. Not hogging the camera. <laughs> Who made the coffee this morning? All right. Huh? Anyway, we'll let you know how we get on. Right. We're back again. Just got her back. Yeah, they uh, had a couple of issues from, from overnight. There was a uh, a problem with like a like a, a smell of gas in the gas locker. Um, but yeah, they said the bottle was leaking, but it just went into the shop. Obviously, we bought it originally from there five years ago. Um, they just exchanged it, so that was good. Um, yeah, bed slate um, had come out and obviously needed <laughs> fixing, which, which, is, which they did. Um, not guilty. Um, <laughs> and what's the, the other thing? Oh right, and yeah, the the locker on the on the um, well the latch on, on the door the, 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 wasn't wasn't actually locating properly. Um, yep, yeah, so they've done that. So yeah, great service, isn't it? Brilliant, absolutely yeah. superb. Got a nice free breakfast this morning. Um, yeah, now we've got the uh, got the drive home in the new in the new automatic. So looking forward to it. Um, Brand hills, yeah. With, spot on. Yes, yeah, spot on. We'd say this is our second new motorhome we bought from them. Um, customer service is excellent. Special thank you to Matt, the sales guy. Done us a cracking deal. Really nice bloke. Um, yeah, so onwards and upwards. Catch you next time. Ciao for now. Good morning. We're off to uh, Seacroft today in their new motorhome. Yeah. Ta taking our dogs with us. Yeah, all, all good. We're uh, a little bit excited for the first, the first outing, and um, just comparing it, the um, having the automatic gearbox is just so much smoother. It really is. We're really pleased with the ride. Um, obviously, five years, five years newer than the uh, than the Eldis, and everything just seems. I know it's new, but everything seems really tight on it. And it's lovely, absolutely smooth. 
absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll, we'll take you along. Um, obviously, still getting used to all the <laughs> all the different bits and pieces. You can say it's totally different to the uh, it's totally different to the Elvis. Um, yeah, so we'll take you along, show you what what's what, and how we get on for the weekend. Sorry, in a road. Uh, Bit of road. Road kill. Road kill. <laughs> <laughs> the um, it's funny because we've kind of gone full circle. We had the uh, we had the eldest for five years from new, and it's five years this weekend um, that we was at Seacroft with the eldest for the first time. So we've kind of gone full circle and gone back to our roots again. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a bit interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely balls. Nibs. Hello, darling. Nibs. Keep her, hello, bits. Good girl. Yeah, lovely seats work. Yeah. Perhaps a little bit better on this one, obviously, because you've got the, uh, the fixed table that's there. Yeah, down at Seacroft for uh, just for a couple of days. Obviously, picking up, picked up the new... Uh, the new motorhome a couple of days from Brown Hills. So I thought we'd just give you a quick tour of it. It's a um, it's a Swift Voyager 594. Got a um, fixed island bed at the back. Yeah, I'll let you know what, what we think. We've had, had a couple of days in it. Um, very different from the Eldis. Um, but yeah, really like it. On a, um, on a full sh chassis, automatic gearbox. Yeah, central locking cab door. Um, yeah, which kind of makes a big difference, really. It makes it really easy to, uh, obviously, to lock up. Got your uh, your Fetford toilet cassette in there. You got your vents for the uh, for the fridge skylight. Yeah, we had a a 4.5 meter awning fitted because it doesn't come as standard with the with these you've got your your water point there and a huge garage yeah obviously you've got to be mindful of the payload um, but nice touches like you've got lights both sides which kind of kind of light up nice Nice and big. Yeah, we had a two bike rack fitted. Um, and obviously you got a got a reversing camera up there. Yeah, outside I think it's a very good looking van. Then obviously access to the garage both sides. Again. Just nice to be able to keep all your all your stuff your outside stuff in there. I say before it was under the bed in the uh, in the eldest which was a a little bit of a little bit of a pain. Really windy today so I hope you can actually hear me okay. Got your vent there for your um, hot water and heating. An outdoor outdoor shower point which is useful for the dogs and obviously your gas locker. I've got two uh, six kilo gas bottles in there. Your electric hookup point, standard. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, I fitted these um, Malenko covers. Let's show you the inside of our Voyager five nine four. Happy days. <laughs> yeah, it's um, yeah, it's really spacious. Obviously, you see the uh, captain's chairs, like everything, like most motorhomes now. Obviously, obviously, turn round. Plenty of um, plenty of good cupboard yeah. space. We <laughs> 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 just say, don't open a cupboard. <laughs> don't open. No, you, you can't do that. Now she tells me, don't open no, the no, cupboards. Not this one. Not. I don't open, can open any other cupboard, but I can't open that cupboard. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, I'm no. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna leave that in. That's, no, a, that's, no, a, you're not. that's hilarious. No, because it looks pathetic. No, it doesn't. No, it's it a, does. it's a, loads of cupboard space, but I can't open that <laughs> cupboard because things fall out. But look at these cupboards. Look. Yeah, nice. <laughs> they must <laughs> be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're living off bread. Living off bread. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, spent so much on the motor road. We're living off bread. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. Only <laughs> joking. Yeah, obviously, um, we're not sure about this table, to be honest, because so sitting sitting this side is fine. Obviously, you know, it it it, move, it it does move around. Yeah, you can move it, but obviously, this side you are pretty limited to uh, to your um, leg room. So yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna go out a few more times and make a decision on whether or not I take it out. Um, obviously. It's pretty good, you know. Obviously, it comes, it comes, it comes, it goes up and down, just like that. But yeah, we'll make it. We'll make. We'll make a decision on that. Um, what, one thing we are, or so I'm certainly impressed with, as being the, the main driver, um, is obviously we've got. Um, it's a six-speed gearbox, automatic, really, really smooth. Um, I think it's under a 55 brake horsepower. Um, a little bit more um, powerful than the old Eldis. And, and we like the Apple CarPlay. That's really, really good. Um, what else we got? Other features. Um, obviously, we've got things like... Just gives you a little bit more um, workroom, workspace. Um, yeah, the cooker's really... The cooker's good. Plen plenty of spaces. Plenty of storage. Yeah. These are nice. Yeah, that's soft close. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I got the obviously the um, the fridge which opens. Oh, some, oh full of alcohol. <laughs> which opens both ways, which is yeah, quite unique. Yeah, we had the uh, had the telly put on. That that works really well. One thing I did do, I done it yesterday. Installed the um, installed the Wi-Fi, and I put it up there in in that little cupboard. Well, it's not a cupboard; it's just like a little gap area. Um, yeah, little cupboard. And obviously, what we've got, we've got a aerial rather than you know, being outside. It actually goes to the windscreen. And I'll be perfectly honest. I've not done the download and upload speeds yet, but I will do later on today. That works really well. We watched, yeah, we does, watched, yeah. we watched uh, TV last night. Watched some YouTube, and um, yeah, really impressive. It um, up here we've got the obviously the Truma heating, which again, hot water and heating has worked easy. really, yeah, really easy to use. And obviously you've got the main, uh, you've got the main control panel. Which again is really easy to use. The good thing, obviously, the solar panel, or you, when you're on EU, um, you can you can put it on leisure battery, or you can put it on to charge your um, obviously your your main battery, which is uh, which is pretty good. Obviously, put the fire extinguisher in and the fire blanket and the fire blanket. Um, one thing I would say, is that, well, I think it is it's a little bit darker, isn't it? it obviously, we've not got. The roof lights that you've got in, in 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 the Swift, they're a little bit smaller than they are in the Eldis. So you, I don't think it's, it, but it's then as again, light. It's a dark winter's day, autumn's day. It's cloudy, so it's going to be dark. Oh, there's me putting me place, but yeah, <laughs> I think you're probably quite right. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the uh, obviously the bathroom, which which is nice, and and, and the toilet. Nice, obviously, plenty of nice cupboard space. Slow yeah, slow, slow close. And obviously, then we have a, then we've got a nice, a nice big separate shower unit. And obviously, that door, that door does close off. Um, obviously, the habitation area to the bedroom, which is really quite nice actually. The dogs were out there last night. Um, but yeah, I'll be honest with you, with that, the, the build quality is better than the oldest. Um, the heating is is, is is really good, and obviously no, no, we really do like the island bed. It's um, it's it, it seems it seems bigger rather than we had a French bed before. Um, yeah, and it's, it's all it's all nicely finished. You have obviously got the wardrobes, the wardrobes here, both both sides. Um, no, plenty of storage space above. 
And what we do like, I mean, you've got power points everywhere, both 12 volt and um, and 240 volt, obviously when you're on EU. But you've also got loads of USB charging points, which our other van basically had two. So obviously you can really get everything charged up. Um, really good, yeah. You all right, Dean? No. <laughs> Sitting there admiring. Sitting there admiring. Like, I like these lights. Yeah, they're nice. I say all in all, um, got to say hello to Dave. Yeah, say hello to Dave. Hi, Dave. Hello, Dave. <coughs> yeah, all in all, we're, um, I say, we're really, really pleased. We're really pleased, aren't we? Yeah. You know I mean, it's uh, it, it's certainly an up, an upgrade on, on, on our previous van. Um, and so far, touch wood, you know, everything's worked really well. Um, it's just getting used to a different layout is, is a little yeah. bit is a little bit different the dogs are obviously a little bit put out by it um because they can't sleep on the bed yeah they can't sleep on the bed obviously they're, they're actually now sleeping outside but so i'm really pre pre really pleased with the uh with the truma heating and that's really much more efficient and obviously you know really works quite well so um yeah well please <laughs> there we have it yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog of our um, Voyager 594. Um, obviously, we're back out on our travels again next week. So uh, yep. that we'll take you with us. So, um, ciao for now. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. If you like, no, please like and subscribe again. As we always say, always trying to grow the channel. And um, yeah, getting there slowly but surely. Bye.